This video will explain how to calibrate your Prodigy machine. The tools that you'll need is a peaking brass, alignment plate aperture, This will explain how to calibrate a Prodigy machine. Tools you'll need is an alignment rod, alignment plate aperture, and peaking brass. The first thing you'll want to do is open the Encore software from the desktop. From here you want to go to Options, User Options, click on the Systems tab, Enable the service. You want to enter in the password, which is Badger. Once that hit OK, now we are in service mode. From here, the first thing we're going to do is tools, diagnostics, scanner motion. Before we can do any calibration, the tube head must be aligned. For this procedure, you'll need the alignment extension rod. Secure the alignment extension rod to the top of the tube head, lining up the holes and securing it with the bolts. This will allow us to make sure the tube head is aligned. From here we want to adjust the alignment rod so it's just touching the top of the plastic. You do not want to poke through the plastic. So from here we want to verify that the tube, the alignment rod is centered on the slot of the detector. This way and this way, which this one is. After the tube head has been verified it's aligned, now we can put the collimator on. You do not want to put the collimator on until the tube head is actually aligned correctly. And then we want to hook up all the appropriate connections. Once the collimator is secured, connections are correct, go through system and make sure all proper zip ties are in place and there's no screws, anything that came loose during shipping. This will save us time if you know, we run into any issues. Make sure all the connections on the CSPC board are correct as well. After tube is on, we can start our calibration with limit to limit. The next test after limit to limit passes will be signal monitor and peak. So we go to tools, diagnostics, scanner motion, motion commands, enable joystick. When we enable the joystick, we're going to move the arm to the middle of the table. After the arm and two were in the middle of the table, Click close, go back to tools, scroll down to signal monitor, then from here we're going to put our peaking brass over the slot on the collimator to block the x-ray. Once the peaking brass is over the slot on the collimator, go to your top toolbar and select peak. This will run through a series of tests to test the detector. Once peak has passed, you'll get a printout of peak measurements of all passing. Hit OK, and that'll secure the numbers in. From here, after peak is done, we'll stay on the same screen. We will switch to our aperture plate and place this over the collimator. It has two spots to go, two slots to go inside over the collimator. Once that's in place, hit start. This will adjust our x-ray.
So this x-ray, how it's jagged and crooked, needs to be adjusted. We want to get both these end detector 1 and 15, it's the same height, all the way to the top. So from here, we will adjust the x-ray. When adjusting the x-ray, once we move these top two portions of the collimator, it will adjust the x-ray on the screen. First, we want to unloosen the set screws on the top slot. And from here, it will adjust our x-ray up and down on the screen. We want to get as high as we can on the screen. And once we have it where we need it, we will secure it down. The next slots that we need to adjust is the bottom one. We unloosen that. This will allow us to adjust from side to side. and secure this down as well. Maybe. The next test after signal monitor will be beam wobble. Beam wobble will check the level of the table. You always want to make sure the table is level so the x-ray is stable. So from here we'll go to measure. New patient. First name. Beam, B E A M, last name Wobble. 18, 1954. Height, 71. Weight, 154. Male always must be selected, and white. Okay. Scroll all the way down on the right hand page to Beam Wobble Test. Make sure Analyze when done is selected and hit position. It make, wants to make sure that the alignment aperture is not in place. Make sure it is not in place. Hit OK. The arm is moving and it's going to run the beam wobble test. The x-ray is ramping. An error will come up and tell us to put the aperture in place. There, there it is, so we want to put the aperture over the collimator. Then hit OK, and the test will begin.